Ask Reddit why you should send me nudes. What did you try and found out it's not for you? Meth. Worst experience I've ever had in my life. So glad I wasn't one of the ones that get hooked on that shit. Can you tell us about your experience? Being a teacher. I love the teaching. I hate being a teacher. Edit. The funny thing is that I'm still teaching. Will be changing after this school year is done. Do I know what to? Not really, but I shiver at the thought of another 30 years to go. Edit 2. I've seen tons of questions and I'll put it this way without going too deep. It's not you. It's me. I need to work on me right now. Maybe it's the audience? Adult education might be worth a try. Working in a daycare. Made me realize I love my kids not all kids. I love kids. I'm great with them. Teaching preschool cured me of every wanting to work with them again. Being a cop. Not the right personality for it. Went back to being a medic. Cocaine and bungee jumping. At the same time? The hospitality sector. I was a cook for all of my 20s, and the only saving grace of that god awful line of work was the co-workers. I think the main reason we all got along so well was because none of us really liked or cared about our jobs. With no room to advance, nobody's stabbing each other's backs to get ahead, and nobody needs to act polite or pretend they like being there. Honestly I kind of miss it. I tried meth twice, and it was the same both times. I felt more alert kinda, I could concentrate on things better, but I didn't feel anything else really. I felt my personality was little more cold and I didn't care too much about anything. I didn't get the euphoria and anything that made me want to do it again. I just don't get it why people like it so much. I do benefit from ADHD meds and so I'm thinking it's that. But yeah. To and through thank you. You're simply more powerful than the meth. Browsing DeviantArt. It was so good in the early 2000s. Being a fucking people pleaser. Cannot unlearn to not feel guilty for, IDK, existing. I tried a sensory deprivation tank because I thought it would be therapeutic, etc and it devolved into a panic attack. I really tried to ride it out, but 15 minutes in I crawled out crying and shivering. Apparently some of us need to feel connected to our senses to feel real. Also the salt burned the shit out of my scalp. Wear a swimming cap if you're gonna try it. Had a drop of high saline condensation land right in my eye. I was devoid of all sensation except a burning coal where my eye once was. Office jobs. I feel this one. Spent 5 years doing office work and didn't realize just how much it was taking little pieces of myself in that role. It wasn't hard, but was unappreciated and had no real direction. The team completed stuff and somehow I was supposed to feel fulfilled without having any part in the achievement. Instead, I went to electrical lineman school. It was hard on my body, but I managed to stick it out. Graduated and took a groundman position doing real in York. So far, as a career, it's been fulfilling to have a hand making modern living possible. Way more satisfying, but I seriously need to take stock in Martin. Meth. On my drug journey, when I got to meth, it was just too good. I live in a state where meth and opiates are the predominant drugs of choice and I got hooked on both hard. I have been sober for 8 months now and I will be dealing with the after effects of my drug abuse for the rest of my life. Anyone who is reading this and is thinking about trying methamphetamine, please do not. Edit, wow. Thanks everyone for the replies and encouragement. Getting sober has been the hardest thing I have ever done, but by far the best decision I have ever made. Letting a guy suck my dick. Like wearing crocs. Feels good till you look down. Playing the guitar. 
My teacher straight up promised to give me an A4F if I didn't come to class anymore. Eta, this was a guitar elective class at a public high school. Eta 2, wow I did not expect to wake up and be the top comment. I don't think I've been the top comment or had this many of quotes on anything on Reddit ever. Thanks for all the awards. Shout out to Mr. Shiger. He really was an amazing teacher and I just really was that bad. He actually had a ton of patience with me until we both realized that guitar was just not for me and it was probably better to take that stress off of my already very heavy plate senior year. It was actually first period so I was happy to not have to go to class and I brought him Starbucks pretty often as a thank you. You failed successfully. Scuba. I love the water, I've been swimming since I was a tot. But the part of my brain that says breath, said no when I was underwater for any more than 10 minutes. I went out to do my qualification dive, made the swim to the boy and on the return trip I left the water and informed my instructor. He was there with another couple for their second checkout dive and so finished with them and we all went home. I wish I could have done it, he even told me I had a year to come back and try it again. I drove by his storefront every day on the way to and from work and was never once tempted to stop him. I love it but sometimes have that thought is there oxygen in what I'm breathing? Will I pass out and drown? It's fine you'd be unconscious if there wasn't oxygen. Are you sure? Fucking yes now just relax. Seen plenty of others freak out. Just our monkey brains I suppose. Sleeping with my friend's wife my friend wanted me to do it, I guess that's his fetish. Had this same experience. He invited me over, they both roped me into it, I was drinking, and then afterwards we stopped being friends and he got hostile towards me. Was fun for the moment but it destroyed our friendship. Programming. Yeah, I was a math major in college. And since math is a prerequisite for most programming courses, I wound up taking some programming courses as electives. Stuck with it long enough to get to an intermediate class. It was at the intermediate level when I decided to, as the kids say, nope the fuck out, I'll never forget the conversation I had with the professor. Prof, are you sure this won't affect your major? Me, I'm actually a math major. I'm just taking this as an elective. Prof. Oh, shit, then I don't blame you. This is pretty intense for an elective. Heroin. Tried it once for like 10 years 0 out of 10 would not recommend. I also would not recommend heroin. It dominated my life for a solid 3-4 years when I was younger. Just achieved 15 years clean a couple of weeks ago. Multiplayer games. I don't like interacting with people in real life and turns out it also applies to games. Single player games are the way to go. I like co-op, but I hate competitive games of any kind. A gay relationship. Always been kind of attracted to men so went out on a couple dates with men that were so-so. Finally hit it off with a guy. Tried sexual stuff and I was immediately not into it. Turns out I like looking at good looking men and it stops there. It was weird. Nothing wrong with window shopping. Being a responsible adult, it's fucking shit. Such a hassle. Polyamory. Yeah that seems to be complicated. The contraceptive implant. I was very naive when I got this one and believed that I would probably not be in the category of those that ended up with the forever period. Sadly, I was wrong, and I bled every damn day from the first few weeks and until about 9 months later, just over 6 months after starting to date my current partner, poor sod, when I had it removed and switched to the combined pill. Never looked back. That being said. This should not be used to dissuade people from trying different methods of birth control if they feel up to it. But definitely research the effects and take some time to decide what's right for you. It's absolutely wild how differently we all react to the same hormonal contraceptives. 
One person skin clearing, period lightening, cramp killing pill can drive another person to suicidal thoughts. What the heck? Nightclubs. Grew up in a super religious house so I wasn't allowed to go. Then I moved out and found them super boring and overwhelming. You can't actually have a conversation. People seem to be acting to look cool and get laid and it can get super expensive. Totally with you on this. Had a few girlfriends that always wanted to go and I would be so bored unless it had a pool table or game spot. The drain on the wallet was always the worst part though. Edibles. Panic attack city, and it doesn't really matter if I'm in a controlled environment or not. Delete it. Try a different dentist. Running. Rode my bike all summer. It's like jogging with air conditioning. Marijuana. I get too paranoid. I get this. I really wish I could smoke marijuana instead of the drinking problem I finally managed to control after 11 years but I will have a paranoid attack from hell. Every. Time. I have hallucinated, created made up words in my mind, and have felt like I couldn't breathe. Every time. I recently found out I'm in the 99th percentile of genetic disposition to schizophrenia and I wonder if it has anything to do with that. Twitter. Even just following people I like. It's so jumbled and shit is repeated constantly and yeah no thanks. Just not for me. Twitter is so overrated. Hookup culture in college. I'd always wake up depressed the next morning, gave it a couple tries and decided it wasn't good for my mental health. And for the record, the way hookup culture is glorified I did not expect this to be the case. And I feel like everyone is all for it, just not my thing. The army life. I joined all excited thinking it would be a lifelong career and by the time my first enlistment was up I had learned that I really don't like being told what to do. And no matter what your rank, there's always someone there to tell you what to do. I did my time with a smile and more than 20 years later I still have some great friends, but I have never regretted picking up my DD-214 and never looking back. Do not lose that motherfucker. If you do, you'll have to get a literal act of congress to get it back. Programming. Took a class in college. Prof said just play around like it's a puzzle. It's so exciting to see it when it works. Nope. Not exciting. Sitting at a computer all day was boring AF. Glad others are willing to do it. Just spent 2.5 days working on a large reporting query that tracks time codes and aggregates over each, filter and pivot the result set, when I finally got the results I was aiming for, serotonin boost and big smiles. No need to share or brag, just like solving a puzzle. Twitch streaming. Turns out I'd much rather just relax and play and do things at my own pace. Instead I started making montages on YouTube. I used to watch a ton of streamers, and I was like, hey, I play video games. It would be great to do that for an audience. I installed Streamlabs OBS to see how it all worked, and after about 10 minutes, I was, yeah, fuck this. Haven't thought about it again, and I've mostly stopped watching Twitch altogether. I prefer playing my own games than watching other people play them. Especially with my job where I WFH on my own gaming PC. Smoking. Today. I tried today and it's just not working for me. I want to go back to bed and try again tomorrow. Very relatable, man. I remember this audio that's been going viral of this Indian guy who says something like when you have a bad day, go home and sleep some days are fucked. And cannot be unfucked. Lol that's some nice advice. I found that having a relationship, having sex, and potentially creating a family just wasn't for me. I have no interest in any of it. My closest family members don't understand me though, but thankfully they still accept me. I truly enjoy my life the way it is, it's just a little awkward at the family cookouts. 
Always glad when someone knows what their happy place is. I hope others don't try too hard to change you. I'm a people person but I totally understand when someone is happy alone. Being active on social media. I prefer to keep to myself and not share my life online. Edit. To the people saying Biat Redd it is social media. I get it smarty pants. Call it whatever you want. When I say social media I'm mainly talking about Facebook and Instagram. The platforms where you use your real name and you're surrounded by people you actually know. Remember only a small percentage of the internet actually posts stuff. Small talk with strangers. Hey, so what's up? Jail. Multiple sclerosis. Undo please. Right here with you. Scat. I didn't know it was gonna happen but I know I never want it to happen again. I know what you mean, man. Why can't they just sing words? Plumbing. It's a shitty job. Smoking marijuana. I don't like the feeling of being high. It's not relaxing for me. I didn't get paranoid or anxious, I just didn't like it. Same. It just locks my mind in such a way that I have to use every ounce of energy to even speak. And it feels like my mind is drowning. And I get nauseous on it sometimes. And it fucks me up for at least a whole day afterwards, making me depressed for no reason and still having trouble being social, to the point where on the rare occasions I would try it, my co-workers, who were not the people that smoke with me, would ask me if I was okay the next day at work, a solid 16 hours later. Without it, I'm very happy, grounded and social. So what I've learned is that I must have been gifted with a perfectly balanced endocannabinoid system and that weed completely throws it out of whack and practically gives me a waking nightmare. Water polo. When I was a student at Ball State University around 30 years ago. It's not just a little light swimming. I thought I was going to drown about 2 minutes into the experience. Got out of the pool and never looked back. Alcohol. Tried it when I was 15. Didn't care for it and never picked it back up. Became a firefighter paramedic. Saw tons of alcohol related shit. Kinda reinforced it. Almost 60 years old now. Skiing. That rate of speed plus my severe anxiety did not work out. I didn't break my ankles but a part of my soul died. Working offshore in the oil industry. Literally every career field known to man. Retail. Pharmacy. Warehouse work. Customer service. Graphic design. Audio engineering. Social media marketing. Paid search marketing. Coding. And honestly I'm so drained and I'm ready to just go live in the woods because I don't think any of these working under someone jobs are for me. Math. Wearing underwear. Both made me feel sad and constrained. Team no panties and calculators. Woot. Trying to change myself to please everyone. It's exhausting. It's not self-respecting. And it took me too long to learn this. But at least I've learned and I'm growing from this.